I'm Donna Bush with your CIG television news brief on this Monday. Every year, Sea Sunday, a global annual celebration, takes place around the world on the second Sunday in July. It's a day for people to come together to pray for seafarers and fishers and thank them for the vital role they play in their communities. The Cayman Island Seafarers Association President, Mr. Dennison Tibbetts, had this to say. We try to do things to, to, to let the public know that seafarers are, are well and even though we're, we're dwindling in numbers because of so many people dying, but we, we are proud to know that we did so much to build this uh, Grand Cayman, Cayman Brack and Little Cayman. So we're celebrating that. And we've recently changed the, the rules of the Articles of Association to include membership of adult children of seafarers. And we're also in the process of adopting articles of association that we can now get membership of grandchildren of seafarers. So it's all a family affair thing. See, Sunday is a day of remembrance, prayer and celebration and an opportunity to think about and thank those seafarers who work tirelessly throughout the year, bringing us goods we often take for granted. Now, once upon a time, Caymanian seamen uh, took to the seas for survival, which birthed our seafaring heritage and success of our country as we know it today in the finance and tourism industries, as Mr. Tibbetts said earlier. Now, celebrating the day with the seafarers were Minister Andre Ebanks, who actually signed up to the seafarers men membership. Speaker, the Honorable Catherine Ebanks, was also in attendance. And I can tell he's very excited to receive this award. <laughs> the 2023 University College of the Cayman Islands commencement ceremony saw more than 200 students walking the stage and 250 graduating. Various special awards were given to students. Awards included the Governor's Award, the Service Award, the Community Partnership Award, and others. In his speech, UCCI President and CEO Dr. Robert Robertson had this to say to the graduates. It's clear that we live in a period of considerable uncertainty as countries, companies, and individuals. We must learn to embrace change and remain relevant in today's global dynamic economy. In many respects, skills represents the new currency of today's workplace. For example, as many of you heard me say before, the European Union has declared 2023 as the European Year of Skills. Key points from their documentation in the European Union include the fact that 77% of European companies report difficulties in securing workers with the necessary skills. 20 million ICT specialists should be employed in the, e in the EU by 2030, and they're not available currently. And in fact, in Cayman Islands, we see that additional education is directly linked to higher, higher earnings. In general, an associate's degree can generate 20 to 25% more income annually as compared to, for example, a high school diploma. <laughs> Dr. James Deaver, a keynote speaker at the annual UCCI commencement ceremony, shared this with students. As you graduates prepare to enter the next journey in your life, uh, I think a few words of wisdom are called for. One thing I want you all to remember, education is the one thing that no one can take away from you, ever. What you do with it, your education is up to you. Now, the 2023 valedictorian was Kim and Brack resident Janet Eldridge, who graduated from a, with a bachelor's in business administration with a grade point average of 3.89. Dr. Robertson says more and more programs are coming online to meet the demand of students. Meantime, attendees included Minister Andre Ebanks, as well as family, friends, faculty, the board, and of course, the students. We say a huge congratulations to the students and graduates. Turning now to our Monday night weather forecast, we can expect a 20% chance of rainfall. Boaters' uh, seas will be slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. The two-day outlook is for some passing showers on Tuesday as a tropical wave over the Central Caribbean is expected to move over the Northwest Caribbean region. 
Remember, you can check out the Kim and Olin's Weather Services uh, website and Facebook page to learn more about what is happening weather-wise locally. That brings us to the end of today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush. Have a great night, everyone.